Yo, what is up, YouTube? We're back doing something different, doing something different again. This is Nahid Nibble. Nibble, nibble. Hey, man, we're here in rainy Indianapolis. Rainy, rainy Indianapolis, basically. And we're going to try some uh, Indian food today. Uh, Cameraman Kevin has suggested this place. He said, yo, I've tried Indian food, but this place right here is rocking. So we're at the lovely Aroma. Aroma. Aroma, yeah. yeah what about this? This place is bomb. Uh, took some clients here once. The wife suggested it as well. So Nahid hasn't been. We gotta take him. I haven't been here. I haven't been here, but like I know my Indian food. So we bought the fucking slam. That's what I can best put put. It's gonna be so goddamn good. I'm excited. Hope y'all ready for this, man, because we're about to go crazy. The menu here is pretty fire so far. I kind of got a good idea of what to get. This man, uh, cameraman Kevin, has not tried good uh, goat, I feel like. We're about to try some goat out. I have not. Thank you, I appreciate it. We appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, that'd be perfect, man. So one thing I'm liking about this menu, straight off the bat, is that they're not, everything is on there. Like, they usually separate out with like, you know, lamb, chicken, and all that, but like it's just one big menu, and they have select items, and I feel like these select items are just like, it's gonna be ridiculous. It's gonna be so good. We're about to, we just put in our uh, food order real quick right now, and we're super excited. They've actually allowed us to use our cameras again. Remember, guys, consent is key back here. So, uh, I ordered us. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. So, one of the first things we ordered back here. Yeah. So one of the things we, we got ourselves is some good old Indian beer, it's Taj Mahal, we love it. It's, it's, it's nice, it's great, you know, it's uh, dude, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good old lager, you feel me? It's a good lager. lager. I've never had this. Oh, you're gonna love it, dude. But you know how we pour these. Um, so we were talking before the camera started rolling yeah. about the fact that I had, haven't had lamb or goat. Um, so we definitely have got some lamb on the way with the lamb shank, or what yeah. are they? And let me explain, so, so we actually got lamb, goat, and chicken. So I got, I ordered us an appetizer of seek kebab, lamb seek kebab, ordered an appetizer, and ordered some uh, samosas as well to try out. And then for, for I think, for dinner, I'm gonna order the goat curry. Is that, well, yo, goat is great. You just gotta try good goat. Goat is phenomenal. Never had it, but I'm excited to try And he's gonna get himself, uh, you're gonna get the uh, butter chicken with the goat uh, yep, cheese in the it. the butter, yep, with the goat cheese. So, I'm about to show, you know, we're about to, our palates are gonna be very, very diverse and mixed. And yeah, I'm very we're mixing excited. it up today. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, Nahid's gonna tell us how good this place really is. Yeah, cause like- How it, authentic it is as well. So like one of the one things I've noticed, and I think I said in my earlier video, I like how they do the menu up here. Cause usually when you go to most Indian spots, they'll have like different sections for the dinner. They'll be like chicken, go uh, goat, uh, veggie, and then like fish and all that good stuff. This place, man, they got one whole area. Let me show y'all real quick. I'm gonna show it on this camera because I feel like y'all should know about it more than anything. The menu is like straight all on this one side instead of being all whatever. So I feel like every item that they have here has been like specially made and it's just, it's gonna be exquisite, man. We like, I feel like we're in for an honest to God treat. I'm excited. And like, yo, I'm a big judge on Indian food, man. Like, you know, I love my Indian food. I gotta have a little bit of spice, a little bit of all that good stuff and nice. Well, and, oh man, that, now that you say that, is my butter chicken gonna have any spice to it? Cause I oh, do want you, something you can, with you, some spice. You can add, you can ask for it like whatever. I'm gonna ask, get my, okay. yeah, you can ask. Definitely. Um, but like I was saying earlier, man, look, Indianapolis got some really good food, food places, man. We just, just got to, like, find them. Aroma popped out of nowhere. And, uh, you know, last time we went to uh, Fu Fu uh, Futuro, and before that... Futuro. Where did we go before that again? I forget. Uh, 101 Beer Kitchen. 101 Beer Kitchen, man. And it's just, like, you got to find these little spots. This spot right here is what I'm, like, excited for, fam. Like, real talk. I think we're ready to order our food. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and get the goat curry for, my, for myself. Uh, can you guys like make it between Indian spicy and like 
uh, hot, yeah, yeah. And then you want the, what did you want, brother? I'm gonna go with the butter chicken and goat cheese. Can I get it mild? Yeah, can we, oh, yeah garlic. give me garlic naan, please, with that. Yep. Good call, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. That garlic naan is where it's at, fam. We'll talk. We will talk. Oh, yeah, my menu's. There you go, brother. Thank you, man, so much. Appreciate you. But, like I said. I'm so happy you said something, because if he would have brought the food, I would have been like, oh, we forgot the naan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have sucked. But, uh, again, man, so, you know, me and Kevin, we've been trying this new thing out, these food reviews, you know. Just to see how it goes. I love it. You know, food is like one of those things that like, it just makes you happy. Like good food, when, it, when food is cooked with love, it'll make a human being feel a certain type of way. Real talk, you know? And uh, it's nice, it's nice to be able to like, you know, share our love of food with you guys more than anything. Right, and I love me some food. And uh, me and Nahid, some of our Friendship, or a lot of our friendship has grown because of our initial love for food. Oh yeah, 100%. All right, here we go. Let's put that right uh -oh. there. So I can show Round it off the camera one. and stuff. Look at that. that right there. Yeah, yeah, you're good, brother. I appreciate you so much. All right, let me just show y'all what we just got real quick. Oh my I know, I know, I know, I know, bro. He's literally what going, oh my gosh. This? You'll see, I'll show you. This looks awesome. So. This is the seat kebab. Let me actually get a good focus on this shit. Hold up. This is not what I thought it was going to be at all. This is seat kebab right here. And this right here is the samosas. They do a really fantastic job of like presenting it to us. Oh my gosh. Look at that presentation right there, guys. It's ridiculous. Like I'm already giving this place like a big plus on the presentation. That is not even close to what I thought we not were going to get. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's something ridiculous. Hold up, I'm fixing my like, face uh... up. So yeah, uh, as you guys can see, this is the presentation on this shit is just like off the freaking chain right now. All right, get that, and then try it with the sauce over there. And try some of this, uh, whatever. So I'm gonna try out this. Uh... So like the sauces you use for samosas, it's uh, chitney sauce and then the tamarind sauce. Uh, I, I really like the chitney, man. This is my favorite sauce. Try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fire. Hey, yo, and the fact that they actually gave us like veggies with it, real talk, man, that ain't, you know, you don't get that in most uh, most uh, Daisy spots like this. Like, you really, really don't have that happening. All right, let me go take a bite and tell you how this is, man. She about to be fire. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. What do you think? That's hot. Alright. I don't know what that is, but it is delicious. It's potatoes, peas, it's a vegetarian item. <clears throat> like dude, this shit is like ridiculous. As far as like they seasoned the potatoes so freaking well, man. I'm not, I'll, I'm like straight up with it. They seasoned it so damn well, it's not even funny. That is amazing. Oh yeah. Let's give you guys an idea of what the insides look like. It's like, you got like the nice hot air coming out of it. It's just fire, dog. Like. It's just fire at the end of the day. And I'm not normally a, a fan of peas. Yeah. But so you're like, wow. I don't mind them in this. Yeah. I don't like peas either, bro. I, I, I'm not a big fan of peas either, but like, this is, this is good. That is so good. Honest review. That's a 10 out of 10 on samosas. A 10 out of 10, fam, for real. Go talk. You said 10 out of 10? Yeah, for real. I've, like, I've not really had that kind of good smoke in a minute. Now that right there is like a lamb kebab. It's, it, they take the lamb, they mix the spices in there together, and then they make them basically. Let's do it. <laughs> that looked like it was good. Oh yeah, 100%, dude. All right, here we go. Everything 
That is different for sure. How are you feeling about it? Be honest. If you think it's... It's not what I was expecting. No, I'm not lying. It's a little tougher than I anticipated, but it's still delicious. It's a little bit on the gamey side, right? Yeah, gamey. There you go. That's the word to use when it comes to this. It's gamey. So it's definitely on a little bit of the gamey side. The spice is perfect. Uh, Dude, that is delicious. It is delicious. I I will say though, I've had a little bit better because I feel like it's not spicy enough. Sometimes I don't know. Maybe it's because they, they did it for the restaurant, but usually it's a little bit spicier because like for real, and like the spice on it kind of like hits your tongue a little bit. You feel me? And it does it does justice. I can't compare it to anything, but it is it is uh, it's very good for what it is. It's not what I was expecting. I thought they were gonna bring out a kebab, like style, like meat on a stick. Yeah. Well, I mean, in uh, in Bangladesh, whenever I see kebab or whatever, they usually make, they do it on the streets. Like they have it out on the streets. They do it. I'm not. It's probably the most unsanitary way they do it, bro. Because they don't like use gloves or anything like that. And they literally just take it off the animal and they just roll it with their hands. Like, this is all hand rolled. They roll it with their hands and they put it over like an open fire and they just like grease them like that. I mean, I'll be real with you. It is ridiculously fire. But you're gonna hate yourself when you go home that night because your stomach is gonna get fucked. Like, dude, I'm not even joking, fam. Like, it's like it gets you. It gets you good, dude. For real. Fire. And bro, this service here is like ridiculous soup, man. Like, you know, yeah, they always come here. Yeah, he's killing it. I mean, don't get me wrong, Matt. Uh, I'm gonna that be a good, but for my cup of tea and what I like, the some Midwest shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, this like some Midwest shit, some fried dough with something inside. Like, that's some Indiana shit. I know now, granted, this is an Indian restaurant, but last summer, it reminds me of some Midwest shit. So, uh, if you go to some places, bro, they'll put beef in that. Like, in my country, Bangladesh, they have beef. Like, okay, let me explain it to you. This is an Indian restaurant. It's mostly a Hindu culture. In the Hindu culture, you don't eat beef. They, you know, beef is like, the cow is considered like a very sacred animal, you know? Like, they really take care of the beef. They take care of the cows. They, they worship it, so they don't eat cow. In Bangladesh, though, from where I'm from, and like in Pakistan, like the Muslim-oriented countries, they eat beef because it's like it's this thing you know the, the the muslims eat the cows and the and the hindus worship the cows you know what i mean it's like a whole thing you feel me so if you go to like bangladesh like where i'm from you'll you'll have like samosas with like beef curry inside of them you'll have like beef curry which i love beef curry a lot beef curry with potatoes is like a staple like that my mom makes it's like almost having like a beef stew but like consider it spicy with potatoes in it and it's freaking fire it's ridiculous can i have one i can't I yeah can't. yeah i'll take another one so uh like i was trying to say the one thing that this place is really really doing that i really have noticed and it's going to be a part of their success in my opinion is that they're not only just catering to the indian crowd they're catering to everybody and i've always felt like that's been like a big failure in some of these restaurants like my uncle has has you know he opened up with one of his own restaurants a long time ago and he didn't do that well. And I, and, and I you know, I was very much vocal. And, and this was when I was like, what, like 15 or 16? Was like, your problem that you're having is you're advertising it to Bengalis. Like, there's only a handful of Bengalis that live in this area. You're not. Yeah, you like, you got to really, really like open and cater to like everybody. And if you don't, exactly. And you know what I mean? And I really feel like this place is definitely doing that, man. Like. You know, you see a very diverse, you know, uh, selection of people that are working here. It's just not Daisy folk, which is, you know, you know, you know, that's, you know, it is what it is with that one. And then, like, you know, I'm looking around here, man, and it's just not brown folks in here because it's like everybody from every nationality that's coming here to try it out, which, in my opinion, is a beautiful thing because food is something that I feel like, like, food and music bring people together, you know, and like good food, you know, will do the trick. So I got to give this place kudos on that one. I'm like, I'm very impressed with the decor. I'm very impressed with how they presented things so far. Uh, the food's been great. You know, it's compliments all around for real, for here, for here, fam, for real. <laughs> they did a, they've done one of, they even got the basketball game on back there. Exactly. 
My one thing I will say that they kind of effed up on, they didn't have Kingfisher, because I'm a big Kingfisher fan. Kingfisher is like the beer from the ice cream. Dude, for real, like if I remember correctly, that's like the beer to have in India, bro, real talk, you know? Real, yeah. My dad is a drink. Well, I mean, he would know. Yeah, he would. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all being cool with this, man. This is literally about to go on YouTube. Everybody about to know about this spot. Yeah, appreciate that. Always, man. Y'all, you guys are. I've been saying you guys have like really killed it. Like, you know, the, the one thing I like about this joint is, is like, you guys are not only trying to cater to Indian people. You guys are catering to everybody, and that's something that like not most Indian restaurants do. I've noticed that. It's so, you know, most Indian restaurants like only cater to Indian people, but like you guys are just like on it with that for real. Yeah, I love it, dude. Honest to God, I love it. It's it's amazing. So kudos, for real. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Hell yeah, dude. I know. I know. So, uh, the aroma. <laughs> yeah, the it's aroma so good. is so good. I'm actually going to take video with this camera instead on some of this food so y'all can look at it. But just to give you an idea, this is what it looks like right here. This is a goat curry right here. That right there is the naan. Kevin, you want to move this on over and get a good picture of your... This is the um, butter chicken with goat cheese. Dude, it's, they're killing it. Killing it, in my opinion. They're, yeah, they're killing it. That smells so good. It smells redonkulous. And I'm, like, very excited for this goat, dog. Like, good, hey, good goat is hard to cook. And if they, if they knock this off of me, man, it's, that's it. That's a, that's a rock solid in my book, you know? Uh, so... What I like to do to try out is I like to get some of this, the naan, and like I love to dip it in the sauce to see how the sauce tastes first. Okay. Cause like the, Cause the sauce is always like the most fire. Well, I can tell how good this bread's gonna be already. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, dude. Some good goat. I can already tell. Try it. Uh... This is so good. I should have got. Yeah, I'm happy I got this. Try out my uh, sauce real quick. So you know what it's like. Let me try yours out too, fam. That's fire. How do they? <laughs> that is amazing. That's so fire. That's so fire. Oh yeah, we, we done good for that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Like this is a. Uh, this is one of the better. Uh, I feel like one of the better outings we've uh, in, in, like went to, man. Real talk, like. Food wise, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm actually genuinely excited for this. Like, like. They got the spice on fucking tap. Like, bro, yours was pretty spicy. I'm actually Good. really excited about it. Get that rice in you. Yeah. So this rice, man, this is some good basmati rice right here, man. Look at that. Like, just uh, look at the waft on that, man. This bone right here, this little one, I love this stuff. With the bone marrow inside, it's so good. All right. I like to mix it together a little bit, you know, just kind of mix it like that. All right, here goes for the first official bite of the goat itself. My God. Dude, this should taste like beef. Does it really? Yeah, bro. That's, in, that's, that's, what, that's how I like, you know. Dude, fire yourself someone with a goat. So, oh yeah, they got the spice perfect on it. So, uh, how you do spice wise? I love it, love it. So like, in Bangladesh, people eat with their hands. It's like a thing. Like they don't use uh, forks and knives to eat. They will straight up eat with their hands. And uh, cause like that's kind of how it's like meant to be eaten. I think, in, I think in India, I don't know, I think they do it in India too. I'm not for sure on that one. I'm sweating, cuz. I'm sweating. You say you're sweating? I'm sweating. Uh-oh, I see it. Just to let y'all know, I'm not from India. 
I was born in Bangladesh, all right? Bangladesh is a little country that's surrounded by India. But we love India because India, uh, you know, they, they helped in their liberation. Because a uh, little bit of history, Bangladesh originally wasn't Bangladesh. It was originally called West Pakistan. And like, there was a lot of fighting between, you know, East, wait, I think it's East, one of the East or West, I'm so dumb. I think it's, I might get that wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm, my, I'm not, I'm trying my best because some of my dad told me. My dad actually fought in the war. But basically what happened was Bangladesh had an issue with uh, Pakistan because of our language. Our language is a huge thing. We wanted to secede and become our own country. And basically we fought the war. India, I think, helped us from what I was told. And we basically liberated ourselves back in the 1970s and became our own country. So we're like a very, very young country. We're not like, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, language was a big thing. And like Bengali is a language, or Bangladesh. And you go to Kolkata in India, and I have a few relatives that live, that live in Kolkata. That's also the language there as well, too. But uh, my, from my experience, bro, Kolkata is a... Uh, I mean, hey, man, I'm not talking. You know, it is what it is, bro. It's, it's not the, you know, it is a place. It's all I got. It's people live there. So. You're bailing the same with Bangladesh. You sucking that bone marrow out? Yeah. <laughs> Try it out, just take any piece you want, the smallest one, whatever. Just try, try a little piece, if anything. Just the smallest one, if you're not gonna finish, give it to me. And we'll try some of your chicken too. For the first time, I am kinda nervous. Holy shit. Told you. That's not bad at all. I know. I know. I know. Dude, that's better than land for sure. Yeah. So like, I was telling Kevin on the way here, you good? <laughs> spicy? A little spicy. Yeah, I know, I made it. I, usually when it's mild, bro, you probably would've liked it a lot better. So like, I was oh, telling- I'm cool, I'm cool, but it hit me for a second. Like, came in a little late, you know? Oh my God. Is that the chicken? What the fuck? Dude, the sauce on this fucker is like- the chicken? It's fucking nasty. I mean, when I mean nasty, I mean amazing cut. Like, oh my gosh, that shit is fire. <laughs> that butter chicken, baby. Bro, that shit's ridiculous. Fuck me, bro. Oh my god. So, I was telling Kevin, my mom makes goat all the time. Said so we call it kashi mangsho. And like, me being the illiterate Bengali I was, I didn't really know what kashi meant. Later on, when I was like 18 or 19, I found out kashi meant goat. So for the longest time at, at my house, I've been eating goat thinking it was beef. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking, <laughs> I thought it was so beef. That's so funny to me. So like, I was like, all right, yeah, man. And then my, my mom told, like, you know, I went to Bangladesh, and then I got like the, the whole truth, and I was like, you serious? Blew my damn mind, but hey, man, it was good. So I didn't really, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. So my mom makes this usually with potatoes. She she like potatoes in it, and just like, you know. Put potatoes in this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <coughs> so hey man, I'm gonna cap this off. I might try to sneak in a video of the uh, over there if I can. But yo, uh, aroma, y'all killing it. 100 like 100 percent. All right, what are you gonna rate it? I'm definitely giving this 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10, must see. Uh, come down to Fountain Square, check out Aroma. Yeah. Um, like, bro. The butter chicken fire, goat confirmed fire. And uh, what was the... The, uh, the, okay, the sea kebab was all right. It was all right. It but, was good. It was good. Now I that, probably wouldn't go to it again, personally. Yeah. But the, uh, the samosa. Oh, my God. That, that was delicious. They did some what that is potato. that sauce? It's called chutney. The, the, the green one's called chutney sauce, mint sauce. And then... Uh, and I think the uh, the brown one's called tamarind sauce. The green, yeah. sauce is, the, the green sauce is called chutney or mint sauce. And then the uh, tamarind is that brown sauce. It's like a tamarind. That's what it's from, tamarind, I think. Oh, yeah. But, uh, it's, uh, yeah. <coughs> so good. but yo, what happened? Rice, oh, yeah. Even the rice. Oh, yeah. Do you need the rice by itself? It's so good. Yeah. And that's not usually a thing that can happen that much, for, to be like, honest. It was a cloud. Real, real, uh, dude, yeah. The rice is Perfectly, and I didn't realize, you don't realize how uh, rice can make or break a meal like this. Like when you go to a Chinese place and they don't, 
or the, even the Mexican places, or and they don't cook the the rice all the way right, man. It will ruin the whole meal for me because rice is a staple in a lot of things that I eat, like um, if Indian food, Chinese food, I always get rice. Mexican food, I always get rice. Um, Jamaican food, I always get rice. If they don't do it the best way possible, bro. It's just. Probably some of the best rice I've ever had. So good. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, man. Um, what do you want to say? No, man. I just appreciate y'all. Uh, episode four or three. Three. Yeah, again. I, yeah, we appreciate y'all, man. For real, you guys have been. Yeah, we got. Hey, so we do have like a select few people that like literally follow us on that. They always watch our videos, and we really appreciate y'all. Uh, you know. With more of these, we'll get more, you know, more folks watching. Hopefully, we'll get people recognizing us, you know. And, uh, yeah, man, we appreciate you. We love y'all, man. Like I say, all the time, take care of yourself, take care of your family. We'll see you next time. Peace. Yo, what's good, everybody? Thank you for watching Sneaky Heat Nipples with me and cameraman Kevin. If you want more, please hit that like button, subscribe, you know, do all that crazy stuff so we can get this word out through that. We're doing food reviews. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.